sense that once you know this cloud covers down that uh, you know that these type of, of machines would be up there playing and uh, I think the uh, the picture that I got there a few minutes ago uh, you know just accidentally uh, captured uh, you know these guys up there playing and I, I'm sure the Air Force has some pretty neat toys anyway as you, as you look through your book uh, you know, like page 10, you'll see my dedication, uh, you know, page 12, an introduction, and starting on page 14, uh, I just give a few pages uh, on this subject, you know, we are what we breathe. I mean, face it, folks, uh, we can go without water, we can go without food, you know, for X amount of hours or days. But if we go without air for seven minutes, you know, we're dead. Uh, and that's we're really, really well, well trained, you know. But the normal person, by seven minutes, you know, we're going to be passed out and dead. So every breath uh, is life, you know. So this subject uh, is my pet project. I mean, this, I, when I do seminars... I, I speak for, you know, five, ten minutes on this subject. I mean, if I, if I can't speak on this subject, then, uh, you, know, you know, what can I talk about? I mean, this, this subject is so important because you're seeing what is in our air. And then you, you already know all the, the pollution from the automobiles and you know, factories and, you know, the smoke and the chemicals and the burning. And then, you know, then you just... We have to have this on top of it. It's just, it's just, uh, you know, it's just too much. So anyway, on page 14, you, you get to read my words, uh, and you're not going to get too many of my words in this in this book because I, I want this book to be made of public information. Uh, the picture on TV right there now, I mean, that is just such a beautiful picture of chemicals being put in the air to alter our weather uh, the jets that you seen the night before following the sun they they just didn't put down the trails like these jets are doing uh, you know these jets are also between the earth and the sun but they they are putting down you can see uh, more of a checkerboard type pattern and when the checkerboard pattern comes, you, you know that the weather is going to be changed. And uh, people know that uh, our weather has been really weird, you know, here in the last few years especially. But, uh, you know, we, we get such uh, differences in weather. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, starting on page 22, uh, you're going to see a few of my favorite websites. And believe me, there's hundreds. You know, if there's not there's hundreds, there may even be thousands. I mean, this is just an endless subject. You know, the subject of chemtrails and population control from the air. It, so many people in the world thinking about it, writing about it, talking about it. it it's just endless. But anyway, on page 22, uh, I start with this one because you've got a a. Uh, political person uh, that doesn't like this and in Ohio uh, you know this subject has been uh, a sore subject for some time and Ohio is always trying uh, and it always gets knocked down it got knocked down again this spring but uh, kind of interesting to see uh, you know somebody in the government uh, admitting these things you know exotic weapons and uh, particle beams, uh, electromagnetic radiation, plasma, frequencies, uh, you know, mind controls, weapons. I mean, it's pretty good stuff from a politician. Uh, turn a few pages. Uh, page 26. Welcome to the 88th Weather Squadron, White Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio. I mean... Very, very good website. Uh, if you want to see the guys that uh, get up there and manipulate the weather, uh, good website to go check out. Uh, they're, not, they're, they're pretty bold in uh, telling you what your weather is going to be in the next few days. Uh, page 28, 
uh, that same uh, United States Air Force Base. Uh, because it's pretty popular uh, in doing these type of things, uh, a few people uh, each year go down there and, and do a little protesting. So uh, it's been on the website or web for some years, and I thought, boy, it's uh, pretty nice. So I, I've always, I've always kind of liked it. And, uh, you know, they don't get a large crowd because, you know, uh, a lot of people are going to be scared to go, you know, to go uh, march in front of a, a large government uh, facility like this. Uh, you know, especially when, you, when you're, uh, you know, you're basically accusing these guys as poisoning the sky and, you know, premature, prematurely killing everybody in the world. So to go to their door and uh you know protest you know that's a pretty daring thing so uh all these people uh you know deserve uh uh our gratitude you know because they're uh they've had enough you know they uh they're uh pretty bold and on page 36 there's just a few more examples of websites uh kim trail tracking in the usa uh Citizens Against Chemtrails in the USA, Ohio, Ohio Citizens Against Chemtrails, uh, Aerial Chemtrail Spraying Online Petition. Uh, I don't advise anybody uh, to sign this petition because it's just like, uh, you know, letting them know who you are. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if they know who you are and that you don't like them, you can bet they know where, where you are. So... Uh, it's best to know about these things, but don't don't cause waves. Uh, page 37, uh, nice little classic example uh, of a person that's had enough. You know, they're they're anonymously putting pictures up on telephone poles of chemtrails, trying to get uh, public awareness. You know, and. You know, everybody, you know, they're all that see this, see this, know this is such a uh, uh, powerful uh, weapon that, that people should be aware of. If you, if you look on the TV screen now, you can, oh, I don't know, it must be 4 o'clock in the afternoon or more. And you're starting to get the patterns. You know, these are patterns that are uh, turning into our clouds. And... The majority of the time when you look up, you're going to see nothing but man-made clouds. And you talk about a subject that people don't want to hear about, you tell them that the clouds were made by a man, and they just think you're absolutely nuts. But, uh, and you, you will see natural clouds every once in a while, you know, the tall, cumulus-type clouds. But the majority of the time, it's just this big, muddy mess in the sky you know, that these guys are doing. And, uh, you know, I, I took some really nice sun shots over at my mom and dad's where these, you know, these guys are going directly, you know, between me and the sun. And, uh, you know, now you're starting to see the nice triangles in the sky. And you're going to see a lot of triangles before the, uh, before the day's out. Okay, 30, 37, uh, you know, one of my favorite little pictures just showing uh, some soul out there in some city is just, uh, you know, wanting their fellow man to be, you know, to beware. And uh, starting on page 38, uh, I just put some of my favorite pictures. And it's kind of difficult to put pictures in a book, especially big ones, because they, you know, nobody wants to print them without charging you a fortune. So I, I basically have to print these myself. And... Uh, And so on page 38, you know, these guys do not stop. When they are changing your weather, they are out there spraying you 24-7. Day in, day out, all night, they're laying their patterns down. Uh, in this picture here, I just took it off the web. I could have took my own picture, but I, I wanted to take public pictures to show